my Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters, 12 tribe of Israel scattered all over the earth. Welcome back. Let me say this. This is Dr. Maria Yeshua, and just want to thank you, my brothers and sisters. Want to thank you. Want to thank you for your um, subscriptions, your likes, for your comments, for your prayers. Thank you. Thank you. And we pray and trust that, you know, as we continue in studying, uh, we're in Psalm 37, and we're dealing with verse 2 today. Uh, probably we're going to move on to that, but we just finished verse 1 in the other session. And um, the, the title of this psalm is The Good and the Bad. You know, and um, we're talking about good people. And we talk about bad people. In verse 1, he, he talks about the fact that we should not fret, that we shouldn't grow angry, you know, over the, the workers of iniquity. You see, fret not yourself because of, you know, the workers of iniquity. Don't fret yourself. Don't be envious of them who do evil. Don't, don't be envious. Sisters, just keep close to Yahuwah and do Yahuwah's work, do his will, and Yahuwah will look out for you. My brothers and sisters, we promise that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So in verse 2, and we start out in verse 2, <clears throat> he said, For they shall soon be cut off like the grass. One of the things is that, you know, we don't have enough patience to wait and to see the end or the destruction. Okay? As a matter of fact, we want to do it to ourselves. As soon as a person crosses us, we want to get even. We want to do it ourselves. We don't want anybody to have anything over us. It's just human being, new human nature, you know, to retaliate. Okay? But Yahuwah is telling us in, the, in his word here that we are not to fret to ourselves because, of, in other words, don't work yourself up into, you know, getting hot, hot-headed, uh, you know. Man, it, it just burns within me. For what they had just done to me. That kind of thing. Sometimes my brothers and sisters is hard. Sometimes it is hard. You know. But but let me say this my brothers and sisters. Sometimes it is very difficult. You know. Sometimes it is very difficult. But. Sometimes it is very difficult. I'm, I'm sorry about that, but this thing that came up and said the battle was low. Okay. So, so I think I plug it in. I don't know why that, but like I said. Okay. Sometimes it's very difficult, my brother and my sisters. <clears throat> Sometimes it is difficult when a person does something to you. And it hurts. Oh, deep down it hurts. You know. But you cannot do anything about it. Especially when they lie. <laughs> I, I remember, and I've shared a couple of times, personal experience. When I was a little boy, I have a, a cousin. He makes trouble. He does all kind of things. And I remember a family friend of ours. And they were having a bird night, a birthday party, or whatever they have. And they were having some kind of a dance. Okay. Well, like we were brought up in, in you know, in the, um, Sabbath keeping church assembly. 
and there are a lot of things we couldn't do. Anyway, these, this family was a very, I mean, they were good friends. They, they, they have two sons. One name, I can call a name because you won't know who they are in him unless they get old and, and somebody's listening to them. But one was called, the, the older one was called Laxley. And the Laxley, his name was. And then the younger one was Barry. I mean, we were just good friends. <clears throat> so anyway, the night they were having this birthday party and this dance or whatever they were having there at the house, they on a big tent or whatever. My mom said I couldn't go. I just could not. She said, "No, you're not leaving this house." So all you want to do, if you want to hear the music, listen to the music, and they were playing the music loud too. It was very loud. We were about a quarter mile from the house. Is that far? Probably. You know what? It is about one eighth of a mile, to be exact, from that house, from where we are to that house. The music was loud. Could hear the people laughing and stuff like that. But anyway. During the dance and whatever they're having over there, they caught my cousin. He, you know, he went over there was taking something. I don't know if it was a bottle of drinks or soft drink or whatever. They, and they said, where did you get it? And guess what? They said, I gave it to them. Why? Because he knew that I was a very good friend to these people. I mean, I was like a family friend. And so, <clears throat> the, the next day, the lady told my mom, say yes, um, I caught this guy, whatever his name was, you know, called him by his name, say, caught him with this bottle, a drink, and he said, Josh gave it to him, he said, me? They used to call me Wirecam. I was making it because I was so skinny, you know. So why I gave it to me? But she said, but you know what? I never seen him there. So I was wondering what's happening. Why didn't he come? I didn't see him. Was he there? My mom said, no, he didn't leave this house because I told him he couldn't go. And thus then my mom said, you know, my mom has a kind of a, I think she has a gift of insight. You know, she could she could see things like that. You know, she, like she have a, a sense of what was going to happen. And <laughs> my brother, my sisters, I backed that guy up in the afternoon, and we got into some kind of fight. And I never I took a trip down in the mud. I do I kind of, you know, I was so mad because I he, he lied on me. Okay. What you call anger burning inside of you. And you have to be careful that sometimes you don't allow this to happen to you. He said, For they shall soon be cut down. How are they going to be cut down? They're going to be cut down like a grass, like the grass, the grass. And, and you know, you know something? When, when you have tall grass around your house, or around you, in your yard, or in your farm, you know, if you don't cut those grass down, you know what's going to happen? The grass is going to choke the good plant. The grass is going to choke, it because it taking, the grass is taking the nutrient from the real plant. So you got to get rid of it. You gotta get rid of those grass and said you say don't fret yourself because the workers of iniquity those who work iniquity evil doers and, and, and iniquity workers they're going to be cut down That's what he said all right 
they're going to be cut down. It's, it's like, listen to what it said. They'll soon be cut down. Sometimes you say, man, I don't know about that soon because I've been hearing soon, 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 but they're still doing it. No. When Yahweh said, they soon be cut down in his word. That's what's going to happen. You just have to be patient and wait. Wait till Yahweh does it. Don't take it. Don't take matters into your hand. Because when you take matters into your hand, you get worse. And you can't get yourself in trouble. He said, they soon be cut down. Why you shouldn't worry about, why you shouldn't fret about them? Because if you wait long enough and you wait on Yahoo, he is going to take care of it. He is going to deal with it. For they shall soon be cut down like grass. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, uh, you look at the, the Gentile people and how they behave. Oh, I heard, I heard, I heard um, people saying, uh, oh, this person, this, this individual, he always get away with stuff. He always get away with stuff. And sometimes I say, you know, his time is coming. He, he barely going to go face consequences. Guess what? That is happening right now. That is happening right now, facing the consequences. Because... They, 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 in politics, you know, they, they said um, they have a way of saying that they, they're stacking, stacking the um, the Supreme Court with their kind of people. But guess what? If you notice the news now, that the, Supreme, the people that they pack the Supreme Court with the same people turning around and saying, "No, we got to follow the law." You know, the law is the law. You see what I'm saying? That we can do things to favor us. We think. But we don't realize that why we try to do things to favor us, that Yahuwah is speaking through people's mind and helping them to understand what is right and what is wrong. And we think that because we are evil, that the person that we appoint is going to be evil too. Sometimes it works out like that. Sometimes it does work out like that. But my brother, my sister, in the most part, people, Yahuwah made people with conscience. Okay? He made people with conscience. You, okay, here's a good example. <clears throat> right now we're celebrating what you call the Black History Month. Okay? We know that our history doesn't just start from when they brought our people from West Africa. Via Israel. And brought them here into the United States and into the Caribbean and different places and dropped them off. Family members. That's not where our, our history our history started way back from the call of Abraham. Born into Egypt. Our time into Egypt. Out of the Egypt into the promised land. And then continue on to here. Okay? And all of the evil that been done to us, Yahuwah cut those people down. Cut them down in so many different ways. And we see it in politics too. That they are being cut down. Okay? They are being cut down. Yahuwah said, Don't fret yourself because of evil door. Neither be envious of the workers of iniquity. For they shall be soon cut down like the grass. When it goes get overgrown, it have a tendency to damage something. If you don't cut it down, it's gonna to continue to damage. And guess what? When you cut it down, what's gonna happen? It said it's gonna be withered. 
and wither as a green herb. When is when it's together? Okay, not never cut it. It's still a green. But when you cut it, it start getting crave and maybe fresh looking right there so that day. But overnight you come back. Even when it's a cold, 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 cold time. Even the cold season. It is going to wither. It's going to be withered. Just like how any green herb is cut and put down. And it's not getting its nutrients from the root. Okay. It's going to be withered. And it's going to be withered just like the green herb. And in verse 3, said, listen to what it said here. Listen to what it said. And this, 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 this verse 3 here, it starts over with bet. 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 The, 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 the Hebrew letter, bet. The consonants, bet. Trust in Yahuwah. Trust in Yahuwah and do good. Trust in Yahuwah and do good. Let's look at the word trust here because the word trust here is a word batak. 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 And it means to trust. Bet. Tet. And Batak. Batak. And, 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 and so, so, my brothers and sisters, <coughs> so, so, what we're saying here is, um, Batak. And it means that we are to trust. We have to trust, and, and trust here is what we refer to as bold confidence. Bold confidence. We have confidence in Yahweh. It's, and and, and, and another timid confidence. It's bold. And, and it, it is a, it, it's so bold that it makes you feel secure. It is so bold, my brothers and sisters, that it, it makes you sure. To the point that sometimes you feel you are careless. You know. But it means to put confidence. It makes it makes you want to hope in. in my, you know, to, to put your hope and your trust in Yahweh. To hew for refuge in him. When you're trusting him, my brothers and sisters, like you're running to him, you know, for refuge. You put your confidence in him. You're trusting in him. Bold confidence, my brother, my sisters. You make to hope in Yahuwah. You make to trust in Yahuwah. And, 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 and this is what he said. Not only that we are to trust in Yahuwah, but he said, do good. Do good. Asa, asa, to, to, to do something, to do something, my brother, my sister. And when you do, you do something good. Don't do evil. Don't retaliate. You know, asa. And, and, and what he's talking about here is basically the word asa means to accomplish. Accomplish something, to make something, do something. Make something, do good, you know. Advance. Become what Yahuwah wants you to do, to become. Bear the burden. My brother, my sister, he bestow upon you all his favor, his grace that he need for you to, to make it. You know, because, you know so, so to, to do or to make good, uh, in the broadest sense, my brother, my sister, in the widest application, 
is to accomplish something, to advance to the next level. Okay? To bear or to be stout, to bring forth praise his holy name. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, what he's saying here is that we should not do evil. He said we are to do good. We are to do good. We're going to stop right here. And then we'll come back to the next session. But my brothers and sisters, I'm trying to keep it within the 20-minute segment because I know people don't have a lot of time to sit down at one setting. So I'm just make it short so that, you know, you'll be able to sit down and, you know, during these Bible study segments. So we ask in a special way that you will be a blessing to someone today and walk with the King. Shalom.